I found some insects in my foyer this time around. And I'll just show you exactly how I take care of them. I'll be using the fungicide, this fungicide. And pretty much, I have about probably eight Hoyas in here. So I'm just gonna take one by one. I'll be taking just one by one. And all I'm gonna do is spray them completely. Just pretty much spray them out. Um, I found thrips on this Hoyas. And the good thing about getting thrips in this time of year is that there's not much growth point in your plants so um, they usually feed on the new growth so usually when you get thrips around this time of year it's not that hard it's not that difficult and I noticed the thrips um, barely starting so it's not like a huge infestation so just a quick little spray and then I leave them outside now not all of them have it See, this is the fungi that I just got recently. I mostly focus on um, the new growth because that's where they tend to um, come out the most. Yeah, you see the fungicide. That's pretty much it. Um, most of these soils are really healthy. This one rooted for me fairly quickly, but they all get a little bit of spray. Something else that I also like doing with my hoyas if I have them indoors. Um, my humidifier has this little socket where you can put um, essential oil so that it could smell nice. So um, I do put my humidifier with a little bit of neem oil so that the humidifier and the neem oil kind of, you know, fall on my surrounding plants. This soya right here. This one was the, oh god, it's a mess. This one was the one that um, I saw everything with. So I feel like because of this one, all the other ones got infested. So I'll spray this one liberally. For thrifts, this fungus, I really takes care of them. You don't really have to do anything. It does have a strong odor, so just be careful with that. But um, if you're doing it outdoors like I am, it's not a big issue. If you're doing it indoors, it might be a little bit more difficult. This one I got from um, Hoya Plants. And I feel like my issue was with HoyaPlants.com. I started ordering plants from them and all the Hoyas I have in this box were from um, HoyaPlants.com. And that's where I have my issue. I have no... Um, thrips anywhere but in this Hoyas so I really don't know why if you guys have thrips how do you take care of them because all I do is pretty much that here's the other one this one here is my fungi so you guys can take a closer look at this one this one I'm a little bit worried because it's a it has new growth right there so I am a little bit worried that this one might get a little damaged and these i'm just gonna keep them outdoors like i said in my greenhouse outdoors i have an empty greenhouse so that's where i'm gonna keep them i'm going to shut it down and i'm going to um spray a little bit of um more fungicide in the greenhouse once these oils are in there and i'm gonna leave them there for about a month and i'll be checking them out weekly and see how they're doing but I am a little bit disappointed because some of them have peduncles. This one has peduncles. This one is the Benguetensis. You can see right there, right here, it has a peduncle right there. See? So, I'm a little bit sad because usually when you put fungicide in your plants, it kind of deforms or they have flowers, it kind of kills the flowers. But honestly, this is the, the best um, tip that I have to kill threads without, you know, getting them one by one. All right, this one here is my Hoya Fulwainsis. It doesn't have any mealybugs or any 
thrips or anything however it was in the box with the other with the rest so it's also gonna get shower with it see <clears throat> um this one is doing really good i'm gonna go ahead and spray it a little bit not too much just you know enough Um, right here in California, the weather has been a little bit bipolar, where it rains one day and then it's hot the next day, and then it, within that same day, it gets really cold. So, yeah. I do have another Hoya that has um, mealy bugs, and I'll include that one in this video, but I take that one a little bit different. So my method of killing uh, mealy bugs is a little bit different because mealy bugs lay a lot of larva eggs and a lot of eggs. And so I do take care of that one a little bit different. For now. Okay, I do have one more. <clears throat> if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I did have this Hoya, which is the Viola. I do have the mother plant. Um, but this one right here doesn't have anything. However, I'm just going to spray it down because I'm scared. Okay, and I'm done. I do have uh, another one. These are just cuttings that I took. Um, this one doesn't seem as happy. This one looks very yellow, but I'm gonna leave it in there. The rest of them look very good and healthy though, so, you know? And it's growing in coconut husks. This one, um, nice little quick spray. Okay, all right, so, Let's go um, with the Hoya Cordiacea. That one has um, mealy bugs. And I'll show you how they look and how I take care of that one. Same thing as this one, but I do something else that um, I don't do with this, that I will do with that one. And by the way, this is the, the container that I had them in. Unfortunately, this is gonna go to the trash. I'm gonna, well, the wood is, and then I'm gonna clean this with Clorox and hot water and I'm not gonna use it for a very long time because I'm scared of this one all right so this is the Hoya Coriacea that has the um, mealy bugs it has some right there um, it has some right here you can see that right there it has a big chunk right there on the bottom another one right there so this one is infested with um, a bunch of mealy bugs. And what I'm gonna do is the following. All right guys, a little close up of the mealy bugs. You can see right there, they're usually attached to the node and they also, they also um, are in the bottom of the leaves. You can see right there, in the bottom of the leaves. That's where they usually hide. They, they like to, um, grow within the nodes like in the little crevices of the nodes or in the leaves the bottom side of the leaves um so this is the hoya coriacea and i'll show you guys how to take care of this one um everybody takes care of their hoyas differently but i'll show you guys how i take care of mine you can see more right there look so i actually killed them with my fingers and i take them off like that see that's how I take care of um, most of them. There's another one right here. See that one? I just scoop it up with my finger. And that's about it. It's still right here. Now, a lot of people don't like doing that because they, they're going to spread them around. However, Oh look, the, even the pot has some right there. So this is gonna go to the trash. This is trash. That's what I like to do with my with my plants when they have mealy bugs. They're way different than the thrips um, for me. I mean, they vary based on where you live and the conditions you give it. But look, you can see right here. See, it has mealy bugs all over. So this has to completely be taken out. <clears throat> I can't and I don't want to spray the the roots with any fungicide I really don't 
because, but look right here. See, all of that is a mess. If you look close right there, that's a huge infestation of mealybugs. So I'll show you how I take care of this mess right here. It's a mess, it's completely a mess. So Clorox. A lot of Clorox. Tons of it actually. With water. This is just water and Clorox, that's it. Water, Clorox, and in goes my Hoya. Just let it stay there. And that's pretty much all I do. I keep it in here for about a day. Not all of it in water, of course. <clears throat> that's it. <clears throat> I keep it in there. And all those bubbles, like that, see? They kill everything. Everything. Alrighty, so yep, that's how I take care of my mealy bugs. And unfortunately, this is all of the rest of the plants. Um, and I'm just gonna pop this ones in the greenhouse and call it a day. I'll wash this with hot water and Clorox and um, I'll be using the Clorox from right here to take care of everything else. But that's pretty much how I take care of my plants like that. All right, so these are the Hoyas that I treated with the fungicide. Um, I feel they're gonna be really good. The second one, the fungi, a lot of people were telling me to return this way because of this. I don't mind it. Here's the Altrichii, Fuoensis, the fungi. Um, this one is the, I forgot the name of this one actually. I forgot the name of it, unfortunately. Um, Trubina and Pajita. And I have my Benguetensis in there with the Pedonco right here. But let's go and check the other one out. Okay, so you're able to see all of those millibucks flo floating on the water with the Clorox. It's a whole bunch of them just floating in there. It's really sad, but yep, it had a whole bunch of them. Let me see if there's more. My God. This poor thing, I could just cut it up in chunks and have little, oh, so see, it still has some right there. It still has milli bucks right there, unfortunately. And it has a ton right there. Yeah, so this has to stay in the water for a little bit longer. But yeah. You can see all of those. Some of them are, are um, perlite, but some of them are um, mealy bugs. It's, it's, a, it's a shame. So it already lost all the ones that it had on the leaves. They just fell off. I'm inspecting it for any other um insects but i doubt it. it doesn't have any more it still has some in the roots so this soya has been a really slow grower for me so i don't want to chop it up but i think i might we'll see so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i did it up here in my garden i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys found it helpful if you guys have any comments any concerns or you guys um, have different tips on how to take care of your hoya make sure to let me know in the comments below but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to drink water and water your plants. Bye-bye. Kapun karigato, kasapasta.